some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we've got a frauditor that I haven't covered on this channel before who goes to a courthouse to try to, uh, well, annoy the people in there on the word of Michigan Constitutional Crusader, who is not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed himself. And guess what? He ends up getting arrested for his stupidity. So, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? All right, guys. We made it to the 15, 52nd District Court. I got to go to the 3rd Division. I got all my gear. It's cold. MCC said we can record here. But they put out some policy. I'll see you in uh, about a half hour. First of all, you're taking the word of a, another frauditor, Michigan Constitutional Crusader. Uh, yeah, you're in deep shit, dude. Yeah, you shouldn't be listening to other frauditors as far as uh, legal advice goes, because the majority of the time, they are complete ignoramuses themselves and often totally wrong. I go in the wrong door? You're in the wrong door. Can I move this? That's all right. I'll just go this way. You're not really my boss, but sorry for moving that. Wow, what a nasty little attitude this frauditor has. But you know, frauditor, uh, instead of listening to Michigan Constitutional Crusader, maybe you should have at least taken the time to look up what these guys are all about, uh, look up the uh, regulations and everything like that, and you would have found this on their website. Yeah, apparently it's just like any other courthouse in the country, trying to protect the rights of those within the courthouse, especially with jurors, attorney-client privilege, and other security matters within these courthouses. Yeah, you're not too bright, are you? What do you want? Go ahead, sir. Is that it? Just a search? Just a search? Just a search, is that it? Is this only going to be a search? I'm asking. I can't hear. You're not the okay, is this just going to be a search? What are you talking about? What it what is the process here? A search only? You're gonna to to take all your property out and come through a metal detector and come in without send it off the metal detector. Similar to the airport, sir. Okay. What? You can't video in the courtroom. Absolutely, I can. No, you can't. Who says I'm going in the courtroom? You can't videotape. It says right there, right there in front of you. No, That's... Video, no video recording. That's a court order signed by the chief judge. Yeah, but that doesn't trump the Constitution. Sir. Now, just like any other frauder, this new frauder is just as brain dead and inept as any other frauder out there. I mean, the mold is not exactly uh, fresh anyway, so they didn't exactly break it whenever he was made. But at any rate, it does not violate the Constitution or anything like that, because, well, if it had, then don't you think it would have been taken to court by now? This particular uh, court order right here was uh, brought out in 2022 and if it was really that bad don't you think that somebody would have taken it to the supreme court by now and this whole thing would have been stomped out a long time ago but no you guys just don't take it that far you don't really think that far ahead or anything like that but in this case the frauditor is not exactly uh strong in the thinking department considering that he's taking advice from another frauditor without thinking for himself you swore an oath, you swore an oath to uphold the constitution of the united states well, I refuse. I decline your request. Access denied. Your pathetic, meaningless existence is not recognized. I'm here on official business with the government. What kind of business? Well, that's for me to know and for no, you not to know at this moment. This is a public building. This is the people's building. You 
grab one of these bins here, ma'am. So take your property, please. I'm sorry. There's a lot of criminal activity going on in this building, and I'm going to record my interaction with the government. Grab your property, please. Thank sorry, you. miss. Put your property in a bin for me, please. Make sure your pockets are empty. This is the idiot behind the camera, the one who uh, is so poorly educated that he's got to listen to the frauditor known as Michigan Constitutional Crusader. And if you listen to him, undoubtedly you're a frauditor sycophant who has no ability to think for themselves. And I've seen a couple of his videos already, and this guy is definitely a real Looney Tune. He uh, he is a conspiracy theorist and everything like that uh, to the nth degree to the point Point where any slight against him is considered to be a uh, major government conspiracy. I mean, this guy is crazy. You guys can't make up laminator law. That's not a law. And your little court policy doesn't trump our rights. And you know that because you swore an oath to uphold our rights, not laminator law. Not a sign. You're telling me I'm going to come in this corrupt building and I'm not going to record my interaction with you guys. You're out of your mind. Sir, you're not coming in. Okay. I have business. No, you're not coming in until you turn the phone off. I'm not turning the phone off. Why? Because there's a court order signed by the chief judge that says there's no video recording. That court order is not in tune with the law. You're not Are you stupid or something? It's not in tune with the Michigan court rules either. And why should I have to put my phone down to go through the metal detector? I'm going to record later anyway. If I shut it off now, it doesn't matter. Comply with what? An illegal, unlawful order? A, a request. I'm not. I'm not obligated to order an unlawful or accept an unlawful request and follow it. Show me the law. I'm not in anybody's way. Yeah, this guy has a, a court date coming up in January due to this particular incident. And he uh, pretty much put in his intent in this video to violate the court order that, is, that I showed earlier. So, yeah, dude. Uh, congratulations, dude. You're a complete idiot for filming your crimes and you accuse this place of being a crime ridden uh shithole and everything like that yeah dude uh i think that's a little bit of projection on your part you swore an oath to uphold our rights you're acting like a criminal you're enforcing criminal dictates and mandates it's unacceptable show me a law Sir, Okay, here we go, guys. Doesn't care about our rights. Probably works for them. You guys just accept lawless behavior, huh? You just follow the dictates. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Unbelievable. You guys commit crimes against people in here. You're not letting them exercise their First Amendment right. Unbelievable. Victimizing citizens. All right, guys, I'm going to set my phone down. Do you, want me to, do you want me to show you the court rule that allows me to do this? 
You don't you don't care about the actual law, do you? You don't care about the oath that you you swore an oath to up to the Constitution, sir, to uphold our rights, not violate our rights at the entrance to a public building. He was my neighbor, and he violated me. Now I'll never end up in a fancy pie. Uh, no, dude. You weren't violated in any way, shape, or form. If you really want to record in this courthouse in the proper way, you can go request permission from the judge, and they may decide to grant it depending on the circumstances of the uh, request. I mean, good freaking grief. At least look up these things before you come in here and act like a complete moron. It's unacceptable. What's your name and badge number? Right there, miss. There's one on the top. This one's got stuff in it. Oh, that's my fault. I apologize. Okay. These guys are just acting like criminals. Thank you. Sure. All right, guys. So there was a heated uh, action at the entranceway. Now we got a sergeant that's going to check out if we have rights in this building, if the judge is corrupt and just, you know, decided to make it so. These are the people that do whatever they want. Hey, how are you, sir? So these are the people that represent the uh, corrupted, beyond belief, 52nd, 3rd District Court. Unbelievable. These are as lawless as it gets, guys. Whether they know it or not. You shouldn't be in this business, miss. You're too young. Oh, okay. Mike. All right, let's go discuss it before you get violent with me. I'm not going to get violent with you, but what I'm going to tell you is <laughs> I'm going to have to arrest you. you yeah, that's violence. Here. That's a threat of violence. That's a threat of force. It's not a threat. Here comes your guy. You guys like it. And this is where the video ends right here with uh, him being arrested. And of course, he doesn't show the arrest, but he ends up getting arrested for his own stupidity and, uh, well, inability to think for himself, listening to other frauditors and everything like that. Not to mention contempt of court for violating the policies that were available to him on the internet but he was just too damn incompetent to even look those up to begin with and as a result he has to be in court uh, sometime in january or pay five hundred dollars for the contempt of court charge but given this frauditor's attitude i really doubt he's going to appear in court for this thing and uh, it's gonna just snowball from there so we'll just have to keep an eye out for this this, uh, particular frauditor in the future and see how this thing goes down so at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one this could be some groundbreaking stuff right here Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?